What's going on everybody? This is your boy SA coming at you with another random reaction. Uh this one right here is no music, it's none of that. It's um uh, anime. Like I said man, I like to I like to watch and do all kinds of shit. I don't I I'm not gonna follow no script. I'm doing my own thing, my own lane, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, we're doing Quillen shows his true power that surpasses the Saiyans in Dragon Ball Super. Complete analysis. Okay, well hopefully my shit um, when I do this reaction, hopefully it doesn't get blocked because I, I got like two two uh, music videos that got blocked. Uh, the King Bond, um, the King Bond, what is it? Armed and Dangerous. I did a reaction to that and it got blocked. I did a, the FBG Duck interview. It got blocked by somebody with, you know, yeah, I ain't gonna say name. But hopefully it doesn't get blocked, man. Because, uh, you know, I like anime. <laughs> yeah, I like anime. So. This is your boy SA. Hit the like, the dislike, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, throw away trash it, burn it, do what you gotta do. But watch this video to the end. And uh, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what you think my reactions so far. And uh, let's get into it, man. All the anime lovers, this goes for y'all. Let's get it, my boys. This is Max. Even those who don't know Dragon Ball, who never even watched the anime or read the manga, have a prejudice against the bald little man without a nose. They say he's weak, that he's not that powerful. Yo, Krillin, he. Man, ever since I first started watching Dragon Ball, like a long, many years ago, I was always like, why do they got the little short midget, you know, ball headed with the, the dots in his forehead? Like, what is his purpose? You know, he's scared. He's always scared to fight. He's always in the background, like, shaking and shit. He always gets beat up first. You know what I mean? He's always getting saved. You know, I'm like, what was his purpose of being in the show if he's the one that's always getting beat up and killed? You know, but. We all know this is just anime and, and shit like that happens, you know what I mean? They always need that one character that's friends with everybody, but the weakest one. So, when I saw the title to this, I was like, fuck it, Krillin, true powers, I gotta see it. Powerful. Just because he's a simple human, and he's not as powerful as the main villains of Dragon Ball and the other warriors of superior races, like the Saiyans. But in this video, I'm gonna prove to you that Krillin is a very powerful character, yeah, who in me, fact man, could easily be a protagonist of other anime yeah, and manga, or even a god, as many fight, say out there. Do you doubt me? So, stay until the end of this video, and I'll prove to you that Krillin is an absurdly powerful character. Stay connected to the channel, and let's get to the video. No, let's see. Tell me why he's powerful. As of right now, I think he's the weakest one out of the whole series. Before I explain why this guy is so strong and powerful and is worthy of being called an appeal, please subscribe to the channel. If you're already a big fan of Dragon Ball or are starting to venture into this great universe now, subscribe to the channel because there will always be videos for you to learn more and more about this wonderful franchise. Here you will find curiosities, theories, information, in short, everything you can imagine. Let's get to 50,000 subscribers. Now let's talk about the most famous ball Gee, give me in the anime chance history. Subscribers, in Dragon Ball, it's common to hear that a villain is going to destroy the planet. But is this really such a terrifying feat by the standards of this franchise's power? The answer is no. In Dragon Ball, destroying planets is like child's play because the power of the series has reached a level where even extra characters are able to destroy a planet very easily. While in Dragon Ball, the characters manage to destroy a planet playing, in other animes, the strongest <coughs> at most managed to separate clouds with some power. In Dragon Ball, it's been made clear many times that characters with more than 10,000 power are capable of completely destroying planets with a single attack. Krillin, still in the Frieza saga, already had 13,000 power, and with each saga that had passed, his power increased even more. That is, Krillin is a very powerful character. Even in the Frieza saga, he was already able to make an entire planet disappear completely with a single attack. This already puts him on a level above the strongest characters in about 90% of the anime we see out there. But the power of this character goes far beyond that. Currently, in Dragon Ball Super, he's much more powerful. In the Tournament of Power arc, he managed to face a fighter who is managing to damage Android 18. And Android 18 is tough enough to take hits from a Super Saiyan who defeated Frieza very easily. In the Cell Saga, Trunks, the Saiyan who came from the future, simply completely humiliated Frieza, the great emperor of evil. But that same Trunks, when trying to hit Android 18, couldn't even make her move. 
So, following logic, if this fox who fought 18 in the Tournament of Power is able to damage the android and Trunks wasn't able to do that there in the Cell Saga, that would put this fox as more powerful than Trunks was at that moment, right? The same Trunks who defeated Frieza with absurd ease. Frieza, at the time he faced Goku on Namek, had over 100... Shit, my bad, my bad, my bad. I don't know what the fuck I pushed. My fault, uh, my fault. But yeah, man, uh, clearly he's a lover, bro. He's a lover. He ain't no fighter. That motherfucker falls in love every woman he sees. <laughs> Frieza with absurd ease. Frieza, at the time he faced Goku on Namek, had over 120 million power. Trunks, when faced him on Earth, had at least twice the power of the Emperor. Android 18, when faced Trunks, had at least twice the power of the Saiyan. So if Krillin was able to face this fox warrior toe-to-toe -to -toe and still beat him, we can conclude that he is at least twice as powerful as Trunks was at the beginning of the Cell Saga, and at least four times as powerful as Frieza was in that moment. Can you understand this level of power? With that, we can say that Krillin is extremely strong. He's very powerful and worthy of being called an appeal. But obviously, when we put him side by side with other powerful characters from the Dragon Ball universe, he doesn't seem like a big deal. But he is. He's very powerful. <clears throat> if Frieza, with 530,000 power in his first transformation, right could destroy a planet 10 times bigger than planet Earth with a single attack, imagine Frieza in his last transformation with 120 million power. And that Frieza was killed by Trunks very easily. The same Trunks couldn't even make the android move with his punches, but the Fox Warrior from the Tournament of Power managed to press 18, and Krillin was fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. I know that many of you might find it incoherent for Krillin to have such a high power level, and that Toei Animation went crazy while thinking about the power level of characters in Dragon Ball Super, but the truth is that this is a fact. So, in short, Krillin is very powerful. And of course, if we put him side by side with other more powerful Dragon Ball warriors, he's not a big deal. But if we compare him to characters from other anime, Krillin would be easily among the most powerful. Now, I want to know if you like this video. Did you understand Krillin's... Alright, it didn't show exactly what I was... It wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, let me know what you think, man. Do you guys think Krillin is a little bit more stronger? Do you guys think, you know, like, they could have made him stronger or he's good the way he is now? Because to me, he just, uh, he's more of a, a lover, you know, because he's always falling in love. He's a family man now, and fighting is not his thing. You know I mean? Ever since Goku left him when they were kids, I think he just didn't care about fighting because he always had Goku to protect him. That's what I think, you know, so, excuse me, if you're friends with the, the savior of the earth, you know what I mean, you don't got to worry about it because... You know, you're always depending on Goku and Gohan. But let me know what y'all think about Krillin, man. And like I said, uh, any any more anime you want me to react to, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not like everybody else. I do my own thing. I, I react to all kinds of crazy shit, you know, that you wouldn't expect. But this is your boy SA coming at you with another random anime reaction. Hit the like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share this shit. Uh, watch it. As long as y'all watch it to the end, that's all that really matters to me. But go ahead, man. Let me know what's up. And I'm out till then, till the next one. Peace!